Blue doo doo. Hello, here we are again, Euro Truck Simulator 2, Discovering Europe. Today, our cargo is a Jens BA725, going from Graz, Austria to Katowice, Poland. 21 hours and 52 minutes remaining in the contract, going to earn 12,392 euros. And we'll be driving the MAN TGX XXL, 680 horsepower, 3,000 newton meters of torque, ZF AS Tronic R gearbox. Um, again, as most probably a 12 speed with a retarder in this case 2.3 million euros I have to go spend some of that did I oh, I don't know if it did or not it didn't show up I got too much stuff on my screen okay so let's just go here to drive and let's go here to drive and there we are. Okay, so this this machine is give you a little little history lesson here. Uh, I watched a video on YouTube about it, and then I looked up a couple other things. And this is a Bi what is it? Bio waste. Just a second. Biomass shredding machine. And what they do is they drop like wood products and things in here. That grinds it up. And that's just a conveyor belt to spit it out. Uh, yeah, they had like a bobcatish type thing dropping wood in the back. And it was just chewing it up and spitting it out in a big pile. Anyway, that's what that does. Okay, let's back off just a little bit. About right there. Take that picture. And let's run over here and get... What happened? Look at that move. Hop back in the cab. Set the parking brake. Start the engine. Oh, let's get her... Buckle up. Add blue. Where's the, uh, where's the, hmm. neutral? That doesn't really, let's see. Oh, well, there we are. 1700, yeah, we got lots of fuel. Let's get comfy. Okay, it's 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. Expect to get there at around 10.30 tonight. So, we'll turn on our lights. There's the way out right there. Okay, I get comfy again. All right, so we got that. Let's put her in gear. Take off the parking brake. And just head on out of here. Yeah, so they would use this machine to like pick up all this lumber laying on the ground and threw it through there and turn it into ground lumber. Okay, they did clean up the yard a little bit, so maybe they were using it. Okay. If I 
remember, this is kind of a hard place to hard place to get out of because of traffic. So I'm checking out my YouTube people. A few of them were talking about the weather. We've had uh, fairly cold weather. It's been down to single digits at night. 20s during the daytime. And over time, since it's been cold and it hasn't been sunny or anything, it's been overcast most of the most of last month and this month. Uh, and we've had like little snowfalls, one, two, three inches. It hasn't gone away. So after. eight, ten days of having snowfall over a period of time. We're up to uh, all somewhere in the neighborhood between two and a half and three feet of snow in the yard. In the garden area, nobody goes back there and it's probably probably waist deep to me, which is in the neighborhood of around three feet or so. We had to dig tunnels for the, or dig out areas for the chickens and the dog. In fact, we had to dig down to the dog house. Because he had like a Six, six or eight inch step down from the yard to the, or from the snow pile to the, into his doghouse. So dug that down so it'd be easier for him to get in and out. The 
chickens. They were standing there looking out of their pen because uh, they had uh, well, for a chicken, it was uh, like basically when you went out there and looked, you could only see their heads. Before it snows, they finally come through and plow our street. And then it snows the next day. Until then, we have to suffer through it. And uh, on the way home, there was at least one vehicle stuck out in the street with cars starting to pile up behind it. I went to turn around and almost got stuck myself. It was all 
they're basically doing is churning up the snow and it's only two wheel drive but it does have studded tires on it but there's still people running around here with just plain old street tires not even a not even an ultra uh, uh, all season they're just running around with uh, just general I don't know straight tread tires that have a tendency to not to bite or anything and they're getting stuck all over the place But we almost got stuck like about three times trying to get home, just in like a four block. Once you get off the main road, it's uh, it's almost like a slushy mush, but it's uh, just the way the snow fell, you just kind of push it to the side, it moves over, and the next person driving through, if they don't go through the same tire tracks, they push it over. And... because you let that car go schedule, don't you? Okay, the sun's 
sun's going down. I saw him coming, but if I didn't overtake this guy, I'd be back way back there. This shows two arrows, which I would imagine be two lanes, going this way. signage back there would tell me that there are going to be three lanes, two going the, this way and one opening up to go off, but that's not what it was, it was one lane off, one lane through. signs are a little misleading.
Ah, now it's getting dark. kilometers to go. That's when time really seems to <coughs> really seems to fly by. Tartak, Sklad Drizny, Driz, Driz, no, another lumber yard. Well, maybe they're going to clean up their stuff laying around here. And I'll turn our glory flashers. Oh, they already have one here. Well, yeah, imagine that. Let me hear they clean up the yard.
no, I think I think we're just gonna take it. Run far away flasher, set the parking brake at disconnect our trailer. There we are, job completed. A Gen's BA 725 delivered from Graz to Kedouis. We got 12,392 euros and 622 experience points. Okay, that's it for this drive. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comments, greatly appreciated. If you want to subscribe to follow me through where I'm, follow me as I'm going through Europe. If you like the video, remember, thumbs up helps out. And again, I thank you for watching, and that will be the end of this video.